What is up YouTube? This is Asian with Cards and I went to my locals yesterday. Um, I did pretty terrible, um, but I just wanted to profile um, the deck I was playing. Uh, just in case you guys wanted like a template of uh, Fluandries, you guys uh, don't know by the video already. Um, I'm definitely going to make some changes. I don't know if I'll play this deck again. It's uh, honestly, uh, I'll get, uh, I'll let you guys know uh, how I feel about it um, after the profile. Uh, but just know like, I didn't build this deck as optimally as I should have. Um, there was a card in the main deck that I really like wanted to like abuse, which I did a couple times, but it was uh, kind of gimmicky. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I played Flandries on my locals yesterday. I went 3 2. And honestly, the games I actually won were because my opponents like misplayed. Uh, they would just summon their monsters in attack position without uh, reading M Pen. So that was funny. So yeah, for the main deck. Uh, yeah, disclaimer again, like this deck is not optimized. Uh, you should definitely like change some cards around. Um, I just figured I'd pro profile it. Um, new format. And uh, yeah, it's a cool deck. So uh, I'm not playing the. Uh, the Morganite, um, just because a bunch of my friends talk about it, like, who I kind of know what Flu does, and, like, they play Flu for a little bit. Um, going first, it does nothing for the deck except give me, like, an extra normal summon, which, um, like, half the deck already gives you. And doesn't, like, give you any consistency. And then, like, game, and, like, when, like, you, you pass back and forth with your opponent, a draw that extra card doesn't really, like, matter. Because you should be, like, after, like, turn two and three, like, you should know whether you're going to lose or not. Like, you shouldn't have to grind with this deck. Uh, yeah, so without further rambling uh, for big birds uh double m pen the one snow uh the one apex and the one riza so the reason i played the uh this big this big of a uh, bird package uh, for like the tribute summons where i just didn't um like i want to open up one of these birds with like uh rubino or M or eaglin because a lot of times um my opponent would just think that i like if they cut me off rubina then it would be with like full combo but if you have like map and like other cards um like hard drawing one of these is really good um, and I like Ryza too because I played a uh, Featherstorm in the main deck, so I just wanted to like pretty much loop that card. That was like the whole reason why I played this deck because I saw a video of some guy doing like uh, a combo tutorial and like how to loop Featherstorm, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. So I just based that off that. Um, and I did it a couple times today, but it's just yeah, not worth it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, if I was gonna play a third M Pen, I'd probably take out the Avion. Honestly, um, I style is MVP, um, and uh, yeah, Avion's really good in the side. Uh, just for like evenly and stuff. Uh, Snow was really good all day. So, big birds. And then for the small uh, Fluandry birds, we have the uh, Triple Rubina standard, uh, Triple Eaglin uh, standard. And one of each of these birds. I wasn't really too worried about uh, them getting banished, obviously, because no Diabolos. So, I think the one and one was good. Toucan was honestly the best one. Uh, just being able to loop your trap card, your um, unexplored, or not unexplored wins, the Dreaming Town. Just crazy. Um, being able to do that is just insane. So, uh, yeah, Rubina is definitely the best one. You guys should know. Uh, Eaglin's decent. So, yeah. And then for the, um, I guess, like, Fool Wonder, like, Spell and Traps, uh, we have uh, Triple Map standard uh and the one terraforming that's an honorary alpha uh, wandering card uh triple uh what is this the advent of adventure uh this card's really good all day there was one time where i did it during the draw phase um just to dodge droll um but my opponent had Baylor, so it doesn't really matter i like messed up that i should have like did the other way around but i was just super scared of droll but uh yeah pretty good uh, i didn't use the effect at all to like the gain life at all didn't really come up so that's that a lot of times, also, if my opponent added my M pen, I would just like chain this to get like follow up, so it was pretty good. And the one unexplored wins this card is MVP, honestly. Like, a lot of people just like didn't know that this was just like a card, so they would just like set up a full board. I would activate this and tribute them, and they were like, Oh, I can't respond. I'm like, Yeah, because it's like a summoning, so it was really cool. Um, and the shuffling effect didn't really come up, but that tr effect to tribute their cards is just crazy. And then the one Dreaming Town, this card was just <laughs> insane. Um, just being able to loop it with two can is crazy. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the Flundery Spell and Traps. And then for, uh, I guess, like, generic utility cards or consistency, uh, we put the six pots uh, standard. I see a lot of people playing extra. Um, I just wanted to just stick with these six. In hindsight, like, honestly, like, that seventh pot might have made a difference because I bricked way way more than I should have uh, playing five rounds. I literally bricked, like, at least once, like, every game I bricked. Um, and the one time I bricked, it was, like, so bad. Like, I was just like, if I, like, my opponent bricked, too. Um, I just need to see, like, any bird, because I had, like, double map, uh, so, like, it was just crazy that, like, I didn't see a bird or anything, like, it was just insane. This deck bricks so often. And then for going second, slash hand traps, uh, triple shifter, um, yeah, this is just a blowout card. 
even though like the cashier is running around, just being able to have it against like every other deck is just really even branded to some extent. You can like stop them from like, full comboing. Uh, triple Ash, Triple Imperm. So um, in hindsight, these going second cards should have just been like I probably would have kept the Ash because Ash is just generically good. But these should have been Book of Moons or like Eclipses, just because my thought was like this is a good card drawing like going second like as your sixth card, which Book of Moon is also good against that. And also this is a good card going first. Um, but the added benefit of Book of Moon is going first. It helps you dodge stuff. So this would definitely be a Book of Moon. I just wasn't thinking correctly. So that's that. And then for the last cards, uh, the triple Featherstorm. Yes, I am aiming Featherstorm just for that interaction I was saying with Ryza. But uh, in hindsight, just play this on the side and play like going second cards. And then for the extra, it does not matter. As long as you have Zeus, honestly, like, yeah, this doesn't matter at all. I never, we never make any of this stuff, so. It's just honestly a pot fodder for your prosperity. And then side deck, side deck was pretty poopy also, pretty cheeks. Um, the one feather duster. I couldn't find my cyclones, so these should be cosmic cyclones, but I was playing twin twister. I just because a lot of people in my locals are playing some like runic variant, so I wanted something against that. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I feel like this overlaps against like trap matchups too. So that's that. Uh, Triple Rageki. This card was actually like the sauce. Like this, this card was so good. I played against a uh, a sprite player, and his end board was uh, I forgot which one it is. The the sprite monster that negates monster effects. He made that with like an IP and stuff, um, and I just like Rageki, and it was just it was funny. Like just out of this old board. Um, and then Dark Ruler No More was for like combo decks, like super heavy stuff like that. But I decided in once, I didn't use it at all. It was yeah. And then one trap trick for going first, just for Featherstorm. Uh, two rivalry. Just going first against like certain matchups and then triple evenly because you play six pots so in theory you should be able to see this going second which a lot of times it did um i did was able to like dig for this card which is pretty cool uh so yeah that's it for my profile guys um yeah this deck is not good i mean it's probably good to some people but i'm just not a big fan of this deck i just want to show you guys uh, the profile but yeah so uh <clears throat> uh looking for or, um in hindsight, uh, definitely play Book of Moon. It's the better card, or the, uh, instead of Imperm. But other than that, yeah, if you guys want to uh, test this out, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, and I know I'm, in the comment section, I'll probably get roasted because like my uh, card choices aren't the best. Uh, yeah, but I do know that Morganite is not good. So guys, thanks for watching the video, and peace.